Uh, Casey asked a question. Are there any are there any good alternative to weighted squats? Details. I'm 45, extremely active, fi firefighter, paramedic. I train for fun, as we all do. Overall strength, mobility, and athletic longevity. I do lots of walks, long distance skateboarding, geez, surfing, yoga. Help Dante with his question and weight training. Several years ago, I had severe sciatica pain and was diagnosed that it came from uh, uh, medical stuff. Uh, I, I deep squat daily as part of my yoga routine, but it seems whenever I include weighted squats, barbells, or kettlebells into my lifting program, I feel like it, 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 the issue sciatica creeps back. I was really enjoying mobility. I was developing from doing your goblet squat to overhead squat drill. But after a week or so of it, I felt pain creeping back. Same with Bulgarian split squats, which is an exercise I'm not everyone should do. Uh, uh, Stu McGill told me about the, the problems with it. Uh, something called a split pelvis, a phrase I this just scares me. Recently, I've, I've taken to pushing a weighted sled as a replacement for weighted squats. What am I going to miss if I just don't do squat with weights? Um, should you do weighted squats? If it works, if it's your sport, if you need it, if you need hypertrophy, I'm sorry, I don't know of a better exercise than high rep back squats with heavy weights. Sorry. Uh, if you're a power lifter, that's your sport. If you're an Olympic lifter, uh, it's it's your sport. Uh, I've said this many times. Uh, if I could do my whole career over again, there'd only be two real changes. I would have never squatted over 400 pounds, 180 kilos, and I'd have done more hill sprints. The movement, I tell my students here, Maintain the movement of squatting, increase your hinge. So if you're getting away with the bottom position of the squat and doing weighted sleds, hill sprints, and that's working for you, you have my blessing. Uh, when I first started getting people to do the goblet squat, now, you know, we're turning the clock back two decades plus now. One of the first things that came away with is, why was I working so hard in the back squat when you got this goblet squat exercise? And as many people, my students will tell you, uh, and people who I train, that goblet squat with 24 kilos, and then you use a broomstick for the overhead squat, uh, you, that drill, the goblet squat to overhead squat drill, 24 kilos and a broomstick for eight reps, it, it destroys me. I, I, stay, I, I walk away after that and I'm like, okay, that's a workout. So yeah, I think you'll be okay. I, I, I actually enthusiastically am encouraging you to stay on your path and I kind of think that most people would find more benefits in doing what you're doing running the hills uh, pushing the sleds uh, dr uh, drags if you can uh, you know, sled drags if you can do them uh, then smashing your face against the wall uh, doing uh, doing squats yeah, I, I, I really appreciate this. Now, oh boy, I, I'm a little worried what's going to happen to me on, uh, on, on the World Wide Web for telling people that squats aren't the answer to all questions. But folks, squats are not the answer to all questions. This is what we believed back in the day. I remember Kim Goss coming back from uh, this Olympic lifting camp. And uh, he said, kind of as a joke, he said, yeah, if a guy doesn't finish his pull, he was told more squats. You know, if the guy didn't, you know, lock out his jerks, more squats. If the guy didn't pull from the floor, more squats. At this camp, squats were the answer to all questions. And I, I just think there's more answers than that. I enjoyed answering that question. Of course, now I have to deal with uh, <laughs> all the criticisms. Uh, I hope it works. I would like some feedback if, if, if you can keep that sciatica issue at, at bay a little bit, and I'd like to know if this helps. Thank you.